All right, today I want to talk to you about the scenario feature in uh, OpenOffice Calc. Uh, let's say you're looking to buy a vehicle. Uh, here we have a loan amount, number of payments, interest rate, miles per gallon, uh, how much insurance is going to cost, uh, how many miles you drive per month, and the gas price. And over here I have formulas that calculates a monthly payment, how much you'll pay monthly for gas, and the total that you're going to pay for the months. Now the total you're going to pay for the months is the sum of the monthly gas cost, the monthly payment, and the insurance. Okay, And let's say I'm looking at different options. Uh, maybe two different cars. Maybe I want to do four years or maybe five years I want to pay on it. So instead of changing these values all the time, let's set up some scenarios. Uh, first thing you want to do is highlight the cells that you're going to change the data in. These are calculated based on formulas, so we're not going to mess with those. Uh, so these are the values that we may change. So we can come over here to Tools, Scenarios, and let's just call this, uh, let's just say Yaris 01. Now let's uncheck this copy back. Uh, the display border that puts a border around the cells, I'm going to leave it checked and you'll see what it does. Uh, and prevent changes, we can leave that checked. Now for the border you can use a number of different colors. Uh, let's just use gray for this one. So I'll hit OK and there it is. And you can see it puts the scenario here, Yaris. Okay. And you can see it puts a little drop down here and right now the only thing there is the Yaris. Now let's say instead of for 48 months I want to do 60 months. Okay, And you can see that the formula over here changes. See the 40, if I put 48 those numbers change and there's 60 and they'll change. Okay so let's put up another option here. I go to Tools, Scenarios and we'll call this say Yaris 02. Uncheck the copy back and we can change the color of the border. You can leave it the same. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to change them uh, and hit OK. And there's Yaris, the second option. And you can see that it has both of them. And if I click Yaris 01, see the numbers over here change. And watch, the, watch them change when I hit the second option. Okay, and it puts your data here. See, this is 60. And if I do the RSO 1, see that changes to 48. So you don't have to do a lot of retyping. Uh, and I, I know it's only one cell, but you know this is just a simplified example in case you have uh, different things you want to change. Uh, well, let's just say that maybe we want to maybe buy a different type of car, say like a Corolla. And let's just say... 18,000 is the price. We'll do it for 48 months. The miles per gallon are probably a little lower, let's say 30 miles per gallon that you get. And you can see it changed the numbers over here. Uh, so let's highlight this and we'll leave this, put this as a scenario. Let's uncheck the copy back. Uh, we'll call this uh, Corolla option 1 or 01 and we'll make this a green and I'll hit OK and there's that option now let's suppose I want to do it for 60 months okay and we'll highlight it we'll go to tools scenario again and we'll call this Corolla 02 uncheck the copy back and maybe let's change the, to a light magenta and we'll hit OK. So you can see here that I have the four different options. If I click the Yaris 01 option, it gives me the information, the two, the Corolla for the 48 months, and the Corolla for the 60 months. So you can see it's a pretty, pretty useful little tool here and you can add more scenarios if you want to. Uh, 
and it's just a good way for you to just have all your options and you can look at them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.